You know, there was a time when Meghan Markle really did wield quite a lot of power. There's no two ways about it. She really did have a lot of power behind her. If you recall, she was able to get a breakfast TV show host bulleted, seemingly because he didn't believe her tissue of lies, regarding, of course, the interview with Oprah Winfrey. And really, they were proven to be a tissue of lies. There were no secret weddings, as she claimed, to millions around the world, making, in fact, the Archbishop of Canterbury look like a laugh stock. Justin Welby obviously came out and did all of that. But you know, you really have to say, at what level do you want to drag people through uh, really bad disinformation? And that's the problem. Megan seemingly doesn't seemingly care. But here's where it gets really interesting, because as I said to you before, uh, power really is diminishing, particularly in the media organisations that were once so desperate to have her approval. Whatever she wanted to do, they would have jumped through hoops. And as I told you before, it was interesting to note, that even this morning, a while back, with the American Riviera Orchard idea, were keen perhaps to give her a slot because they're desperate for ratings as well, you know. This is the ITV commercial brand. But according to a very well-placed source, even Megan's realised that the ITV brand over here in the United Kingdom has possibly now lost her grasp. As ever, let me explain. Lovely to see you today in the very heart of London, a beautiful square here in London town. Yeah, I'll just, yeah, can you see around that? I'll just go around that. There's some wonderful buildings around here. And I don't know if you find this, but I often think, what happens in those buildings now? You can imagine years ago, they would have been filled with sort of diplomats and people working for the foreign office or something, you know. And now you kind of think, are these buildings still in use? And if there's such a housing crisis shortage, why are they now not flats? No, no, just gets you thinking, doesn't it? Now, this person has become a bit of a thorn in the side of Meghan Markle. Oh, yes, really a big thorn in the side. If you remember, over a year ago now, he wrote a piece in a national newspaper of which he was less than complimentary, and both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle came out in the hope that they could get him, as the kids say today, cancelled. In our world, you and I axed, fired, removed, you know, wiped out, whatever you want to call it. But sadly, you see, as I pointed out before, ratings are king, money is king, and more importantly, in this very diminishing times for commercial channels, particularly television, if a person can bring in an audience, and more importantly also bring in advertising, which means big bucks, you can virtually do anything. And that's now the issue for the ITV bosses with Jeremy Clarkson, the host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Now, things may go in Meghan's way in the future because it's yet to be decided exactly whether Mr. Clarkson will be offered a new extension. There's a brand new series coming out very shortly. But if he decides to decline that offer, and that could be a big pay rise or maybe not, depending on what ITV want to do, they're already casting around and perhaps they like the idea of the one-time CBS chat show host James Corden to become the brand new host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Apparently now he's going to be virtually based over here and doing certain things over, of course, in America from time to time. He left, of course, CBS because apparently he missed England and missed his family. Nothing to do, of course, with the show being very expensive and diminishing ratings. How dare you suggest that? Right, James? But more importantly for Meghan, if Jeremy Clarkson stays, this proves very difficult for her because, of course, she would have expected the head of ITV, Carolyn McCall, the woman who removed the breakfast TV host, and she's still the boss of the channel, and she removed him because, of course, he didn't agree with Meghan. Well, how will she sit now if Carolyn McCall decides to offer another nemesis a brand new contract? This won't go down well with Meghan, I have been told. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.